All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is flipping wood. I'm gonna show you how to flip wood. And I'm flipping wood with a J. You can flip it with a Texas Red Crawl or something, or you know, any soft plastic. But I like to flip them with jigs. They catch really big fish. What I have is a seven foot medium heavy rod. I got a bait caster reel with the flipping switch. And what the flipping switch does, it allows me to engage the reel ready to, to crank without having to turn the handle. And um, we're going to be flipping wood. And what I mean by flipping wood is flipping any hard wood structure, logs, stumps, trees I have are on the bank. And uh, that's where that term comes from. And beating the bank means you're just going to pitch up and down the shoreline, the bank. And what this bank does is going to come out and it's going to drop off really fast. And those bass are sitting suspended pretty much towards the bank and they're ambushing anything that gets you know comes up on the bank and uh, it's normally crayfish so this is a jig which simulates crayfish and what you got to do is you got to go and get you a trailer I posted another video about it but I actually want to show you guys me catching something off the jig so I'm gonna get up here on this trolling motor I'm gonna go to this bank And don't be afraid to get snagged or anything like that because you got to fish where there's structure. And where there's structure, you're going to get snagged. Oh well, just take the loss and, and tie on another jig. But I'm going to try to show you of how this works. And I got logs and stuff all up on the shoreline. I'm going to come up to it and control the motor back on low. Go in stealth mode, and I'm just going to pitch right to that bank, any structure that I see. And uh, what I want, what, what, what you like to do is, is you pretty much like to pitch it, let it fall, flip it a few times, let it fall again, and reel it back in. Repeat the process. On to the next log. It's kind of like power fishing. With the finesse technique, and uh, you're gonna feel that thump, boom, and you're gonna immediately know, oh, that's a fish. Something took it. And uh, once you start doing this a lot, you'll get snagged a few times. Kind of think, kind of try to figure out what the difference is, the, the feeling of of being snagged, and what actually is a strike and I pick I pick close attention to my line if that line gets a jar in it or if I pitch it over there and then it, the line ends up over here automatically got to set that hook because I already know something that's taking it now if you get snagged or you have a doubt in your mind that you think it's a fish go ahead and set the hook don't don't just don't play around but uh I've caught really big bass on jigs. And I've won tournaments with them. So I know they work. JR caught a four pounder a few weeks ago. He knows they work. out and get a bait cast. A lot of people are t intimidated by them because they don't know how to use them. They get birds nests and stuff like that. Go ahead and just ask YouTube it. Ask somebody in Bass Pro Shops. On, uh, get some advice on how to use them. But make sure you buy two spools of line when you use them. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to bird nest. And what I like to do is I practice with five gallon buckets. I'll put go in the backyard put a five gallon bucket and I'll try to pitch in, pitch into the bucket. Done with the buckets, I moved up the cups. When I'm done with flipping in cups, I'm going to shot glasses. Good practice. But this water is 
really clear, real clear. So I'm using a natural color or natural color bait. If the water was stained a lot dirtier, I'd be throwing a black bait, darker bait. This is what flipping is all about. And it catches fast. And it catches big bass too. I'm getting blown around in this wind today. It's probably about 20, 30 mile an hour winds. I'm getting blown around. So my foot's constantly on this trolling motor. Now, I'm using fluorocarbon because this water's clear and it pretty much disappears when it when it hits the water. Um, but if I'm mainly throwing on a river where there's a lot of grass, I'll use braid, braided line. Braided line has no stretch. I mean, on the river, you got all that grass. They they don't know the difference. See if we can pick one off here. See, I'm not wasting any time with that bait. I'm letting it drop, flipping it a few times, and I'm reeling it back in, going to a next spot. That's called beating the bank. And I've covered probably about 75 yards of bank already. It's kind of like power fishing, but with the finesse technique. Having polarized sunglasses also helps. You can see that underwater structure. I don't have them on because, I mean, I really don't need them right now. I already know where all the wood is, but this water is really, really clear. wood baby flipping wood good bass see where this hook is this hook is right in the top of his mouth ripping lips that that's a good solid two pound bass right there Pretty too. I felt them thump. I set the hook. There you go. Catch and release. Live to fight another day. See when I set the hook on that, that 17 flound, 17 pound fluorocarbon got it, got him out. And I set it hard. I felt that thick. And I set it. No hesitation. But that's how you flip wood. Go out and try it.